This video is an introduction to the Avogadro and VMD molecular modeling programs. Okay, so continuing on with our kind of introduction to some of the tools that we're going to be using throughout the computational chemistry course, we have Avogadro, which is a molecule editor for constructing and manipulating atoms. Oftentimes we'll use that to prepare structures or inputs for other more advanced programs that will do some type of simulation with that structure. And we have VMD, uh, Visual Molecular Dynamics, which is the acronym that VMD comes from. And that's a kind of more advanced molecular modeling and visualization program, which has quite a lot of useful features, often for working with uh, large biological macromolecules uh, with, with a lot of advanced features that something like Avogadro doesn't have. Okay, so each of these programs is free and available for download and installation from their respective websites. So we can take a look at that. So we have avogadro.cc, where we have the Avogadro website with whatever news and notes are, really, are recent. And you can download whatever version you like from their uh, download page. Um, the particular version that of Avogadro that I believe I'm using, I believe is version 1.1.1, .1 if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. 1.1.1 .1 is the one that I'm going to be using for demos throughout this entire playlist. Okay, then VMD, we have from the Theoretical and Computational Biophysics Group at the University of Illinois. So ks.uiuc.edu slash research slash VMD for the URL. And then you can go and download whatever is uh, the most recent version for your relevant platform, whether you're on Windows, Mac, or something else. So let's see, what version do I have? I believe I have uh, 1.9.2 is the version that I'll be using for a lot of these demos if you want to follow along exactly. Okay, so for Avogadro, the types of things that I would typically use that for um, in the course of doing uh, computational chemistry applications with things like initial drawing and cleaning up of some structures. If I want a molecule like say benzene or cyclohexane, I can draw it in Avogadro and get a good starting structure for a lot of the quantum programs that I'd be using on top of that. You can manipulate various atoms, moving them around, kind of moving bond lengths, bond angles, or whatever elements of the structure you want into the kind of more helpful place. And of course, generating XYZ structures, which we discussed in previous videos, that we represent a lot of these structures by their XYZ coordinates. It's Except for very, very simple molecules, it's hard to just guess what those are going to be outright. So it's a lot easier to build them in a program and then pull the coordinates out of there for use elsewhere. All right, then VMD. Um, some neat things you can do there um, in a simulation, call, simulation type called molecular dynamics. You generate a trajectory, a bunch of motions of atoms throughout, through time. So in VMD, you can view these trajectories as a bunch of kind of frames in a, in a movie, stop them where you like, rewind them, maybe view them in a loop. Uh, you can also do more types of advanced uh, structural preparation. So maybe you have some protein and you want to surround that by a bunch of water molecules in a box for some type of uh, simulation in solvent. You can do those sorts of things. Or maybe you're looking, uh, you have a finished project and you're looking for some high quality images for whatever uh, write up document you're looking for there. So you can, there's lots of different types of renderings uh, you can use in VMD, uh, whether that's rendering them as van der Waals, licorice structures, other types of structures, uh, lots to choose from there in terms of the type of imagery you can generate. So that's the basic intro to Avogadro and VMD, and in the next video we'll do a little tutorial showing how a little bit more about how to use these programs for some basic applications.